Not too long ago, Hoolstool Update 2.0 dropped and it introduced roll cards, advanced rolls and more rolls in general among others. Since this update is received well by a part of the community and others really dislike it, I figured I wanted to make a video on it. Since you clicked on this video, you might be interested in my opinion on the update. So here are 10 things that are good about the roll card update. In the near future, I will also make a top 10 bad things about the card update, but let's get positive for now. Number 10. Unlocking is fun. Or at least that is how I perceive it. In my life, I've played quite a few games and in some of them, you can unlock cosmetics, characters, tracks and weapons and whatnot by completing challenges, winning matches, etc. Examples I can give are mostly Mario related games like Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart Wii, but also the newer Nintendo Switch game, Nintendo Switch Sports. Sure, sure, not everyone has fun with unlocking stuff and you might not like it as much as others do, but I think it is worth mentioning since the systems for unlocking stuff in Wolfsville are not as good in my opinion. Hoofstill mostly wants you to get XP by just playing and winning and perhaps with streaks and playing with friends. And what do you unlock? For most cosmetics that are absolutely useless in this game unless you are into designing cosmetics and avatars and that stuff. Now with roll cards there's finally something important at least in my eyes to unlock in this game. Number 9 XP boosters. Personally, I'm not much into XP, as you may know, but nowadays we cannot underestimate the amount of players that grind the game for XP. For the XP grinders and avatar communities, some of these perks are arguably a reason to care about roll cards. If you upgrade some perks, you can get like crazy XP boosts upon winning, for example, or extra roses when someone sends you a rose. And even though these numbers are probably little compared to what they gain anyways, every single bit helps. Number 8. Leveling. Before the update, some people really cared about their level in Wolfsville, whilst others, like me, did not care about levels that much. After all, getting XP is mostly a matter of playing and not of winning or playing good, since you gain XP when you lose and you don't lose XP when you lose. If levels indeed don't define skill but grind, then players like me don't really care about leveling either. But now, since you get a roll card for each time you level up, it actually gets interesting to try and gain levels. A similar case is weekly challenges. If you complete three weekly challenges or nine, you get gems, but upon completing six, you actually get a roll card. Number seven, the in-game advantages. This might be a very controversial pick and I definitely come back to this in the top 10 bad things about roll cards video. But the perk that allows you to see quantity of sent messages per player, especially since this is applicable in sandbox and quick games, might have a positive effect. If you don't want to be caught as werewolf by someone with the perk, you need to talk more and act like a villager. Essentially, that is what werewolf is about and thus a perk like this forces players to be more talkative and that makes games more fun. Number 6. Pay to win is not as bad as expected. Yes, 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 you heard me right. Before the update dropped, there were people spreading rumors for quite some time that the game would become pay to win. Personally, I'm not a fan of pay to win in the slightest, since it means that people have to have the money to spend on games get advantages over those who don't. Not long after the update released, I got video footage from Musk, who spent 233 euros on buying roll cards and she got pretty much all advanced rolls and a lot of legendary cards too. She told me that it was pay to win and I respect that view, but realistically I do not believe in that. Because one, there are not many people who will really spend this much money on roll cards. And two, this one person in your lobby that has a legendary card with game advantages can and usually not really make the difference. Especially since we're talking about a game that is played by most people in a casual way. Even if some sort of villager can take notes, see all messages from specific players or modify time, plays with a stronger advanced role and sees who's active and who's not, that villager can still not decide who is lynched at the end of the day. Wolfsville is, unless you are a solo role, still a team game and you are always somehow dependent on your teammates, who might be total idiots and their stability will still overpower all those roll card advantages. Number 5. Veteran Cards With the addition of advanced roles, some older roles, even like the real OG roles like Gunner and Sorcerer, are locked behind the roll card wall. I know I just made up that word, but you probably get what I mean. 
Luckily, in order to prevent OG players from complaining too much, which I will probably still do, there are so-called veteran cards, which you unlock after getting 5 roll cards by other means. Oh yeah, you also need a specific amount of times played as that roll. For villagers that is 40 times, for werewolves that is 25 times and for solo rolls that is 20 times. Although I have my fair share of nitpicks on that, I want to credit the developers that they have at least rewarded old players to some extent. Number 4. Customizability Roll cards actually have a crazy amount of customizability. Maybe you really want to have a stacked legendary card, well then combine as many cards and get that very strong legendary card early on. Maybe you only care about the advanced roll, then you need the purple rare card and you don't need to invest a shitload of cards into upgrading to legendary. Maybe you just want one perk per card, then you don't even need to upgrade at all. On top of that, you can upgrade single perks by sacrificing another card with the same perk. Ooh, that is a nice way to modify the odds to get your talismans back. Seriously, you can go in so many directions and there's not really one correct way of doing it, since it really depends on what you value in the game. Number 3. Choosing roles. In the past I've heard of cool concepts of being able to pick roles as werewolf so that you can strategically line up your team. Now sometime later a mild form of that came to the game and I really like that. Sadly, you cannot decide that all together as werewolf teams since you don't get a chat whilst picking roles and not everyone has advanced roles, but this light form has potential too. Surely, there are definitely cases in which the advanced role is significantly stronger than the base role, but the developers seem willing to listen to the community when it comes to balancing advanced roles versus base roles. There are examples where the balance seems to be alright, like the mayor and the baker, the wolf pacifist and the guardian werewolf, and they are both comparable in strength. There are also quite a few cases where proper balance is missing, like serial killer and cannibal and red lady and ghost lady. In my opinion, those are the worst. But most importantly, the framework is there and with proper balancing, this can get really far. Number 2. Ranked is not involved. The people who are most critical of roll cards are those who play competitively and don't want players to get advantages over other players through roll cards and other external means. Luckily, the developers know their community well enough to keep ranked clean from these advantages and keep it more an even playground. Sandbox and quick games contain more casual players who are usually less out for a win or high paced games but just want to relax or uh, uh, farm XP. It may sound strange that this is high on the list but one of the most important things for the developers is to keep the player base active and surely the ranked community might actually have gone extinct if roll cards came into rank. And now for our biggest winner. Number 1. A future with more roles. For the average person this might feel like a stretch, but hear me out. Pre-roll card update, the developers always had to consider originality and the fact that every role added is another role less frequently and thus newer players get to play with and against a plethora of roles that they cannot get the hang of quickly. With the introduction of the uh, cards um, sort of comes the, the the first time where adding roles is a little bit easier. Yeah. But before if you would if you would add roles it would go into sandbox, it would go into testing, you could play like around with around with it a little bit. Um, but eventually it just sort of disappeared. Um, and because sometimes they were too complicated for quick games, um, sometimes they didn't fit into rank games, so there wasn't really any place uh, where to, to put those roles. And the card system maybe gives a little bit more structure, hopefully it gives a little bit more structure, so you can um, add more roles, but uh, restrict them to advanced players. So new players don't have to bother with them ideally, and only advanced players can unlock them with time if they're interested. So ideally, maybe, 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 maybe we'll see a, a regular adding of new roles. Maybe. It also depends on how many cool ideas there are. Yes. It doesn't make sense to have 20 versions of a doctor. No. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I can imagine like with advanced roles that you can like have a lot of roles that are similar but have a little different tone. And that work, should work. also make it easier to add more roles. What do you think of the update? Anything particular that I did not mention that you really like about the update? 
let me know in the comments while you're heading down there. Make sure to subscribe for that video about 10 bad things in the roll card update. That one will be an interesting one for sure and maybe even more interesting than this one. Thanks for watching till the end and I will see you later and don't be a traitor. Goodbye.